Gingival margin cut is the term used for a special incision used in oral surgery. If the mucosa must be folded to the side during surgery in order to get to the underlying bone, for example, then different types of incisions can be used. One of these is the gingival margin cut. Here you see a patient prior to a surgery. In the past, a crescent-shaped cut was often used, as can be seen by the dark line. However, this cut often leads to scarring and to poor healing of the wound. Because most of the blood vessels, shown here in red, run along the axis of the tooth. This kind of incision cuts many of the vessels. A smooth wound healing process requires blood. This is why a different type of incision, in this case the gingival margin cut, was used. You see how the scalpel is carefully inserted between the tooth and the gingiva. By means of two vertical relief cuts, the oral mucosa can be easily moved to the side. This incision preserves most of the blood vessels, allowing the wound to heal faster and preventing scar formation. One potential drawback is that the gingiva may recede a bit after a gingival margin cut, but this usually only happens when the gingival flap is treated very roughly. In normal, cautious cases, there is very little or no resorption of the gums after such a surgery. Today, the gingival margin cut is the preferred type of incision cut and can also be safely used on artificial crowns.